banyan tree? Yes. People avoid going near the tree after dark, Mr. Peters cautioned. Who are you? Maya whispered. The figure turned towards Maya, its faint outline becoming clearer. Okay, hello guys. Welcome to my channel, B2G, where stories come to reality. Today I have a story about a Banean tree. Something supernatural happened there. So without wasting any more time, <laughs> let's get started. In the quaint town of Rivertown, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush greenery, stood a majestic banyan tree that had been a witness to centuries of tales and secrets. Its sprawling branches and dangling roots created an otherworldly sight, casting eerie shadows in the moonlight. Locals whispered in hushed tones about the tree's mystical nature, claiming that something inexplicable occurred every night after the clock struck 2 a.m. A young journalist named Maya was intrigued by the tales surrounding the banyan tree. She arrived in Rivertown with a curiosity that bordered on obsession. Maya checked into the only inn in town where the innkeeper, Mr. Peters, shared stories of the tree's haunting mysteries. People avoid going near the tree after dark. Mr. Peters cautioned. Strange things happen. Whispers in the wind, eerie cries, and sightings of ethereal figures. Despite the warnings, Maya was determined to uncover the truth behind the legends. She armed herself with a flashlight, a notebook, and a camera, preparing for a night at the Banyan tree. As the clock neared 2 a.m., Maya made her way through the silent streets. The night air was thick with an inexplicable tension. The banyan tree loomed in the distance, its branches swaying ominously in the breeze. When the clock struck 2 a.m., a chill ran down Maya's spine. Suddenly, the atmosphere shifted. The once serene night turned into a cacophony of strange noises, rustling leaves, whispers carried by the wind, and a haunting melody that seemed to emanate from nowhere. Maya pressed forward, her heart pounding in her chest. The flashlight's beam danced across the gnarled roots as she cautiously approached the ancient tree. Shadows seemed to move of their own accord, playing tricks on her senses. Just then, Maya heard a soft, plaintive cry. She froze, her breath catching in her throat. Peering into the darkness, she saw a faint, ghostly figure standing beneath the tree. It appeared to be a young girl, her form translucent and ethereal. Driven by a mixture of fear and curiosity, Maya cautiously approached the apparition. The ghostly figure seemed lost and sorrowful, its eyes reflecting a deep sadness. With a trembling hand, Maya reached out, but her touch met nothing but air. Who are you? Maya whispered, her voice barely audible above the eerie melody that surrounded them. The figure turned towards Maya, its faint outline becoming clearer. The girl's voice echoed in Maya's mind, telling a tale of tragedy from centuries ago. She was a daughter of a noble family, lost and forgotten, cursed to wander the earth by the banyan tree until her soul found peace. As the night progressed, Maya sat beneath the banyan tree, listening to the ghostly girl's story. She learned of love lost, betrayal, and a life cut short. The girl's spirit had remained tethered to the tree, unable to move on. Driven by compassion, Maya promised to help the girl find closure. She delved into the town's archives, scouring through dusty tomes and faded records, piecing together the tragic events of the girl's life. With each discovery, the ghostly figure grew stronger, its presence less ethereal. Weeks turned into months, as Maya tirelessly worked to unravel the mystery. With the help of local historians and spiritual guides, she uncovered the truth behind the curse that bound the girl's spirit to the banyan tree. Finally, on a moonlit night, Maya stood beneath the tree, armed not with fear, but with empathy. She recited ancient chants, invoking positive energy and healing vibes. The air shimmered with an otherworldly glow, as the ghostly figure began to fade, its form dissipating like morning mist. With a final whisper of gratitude, 
the girl's spirit vanished into the night, leaving behind a sense of peace and serenity. The banyan tree stood tall, no longer haunted by the tragic echoes of the past. Word of Maya's courageous act spread throughout Rivertown, and the once feared banyan tree became a symbol of hope and redemption. Locals visited the tree, feeling a sense of tranquility and harmony beneath its branches. Maya's experience at the haunted banyan tree became a tale of compassion triumphing over fear, a testament to the power of empathy in the face of the unknown. And as she left Rivertown, Maya carried with her not just a story, but the enduring lesson that some mysteries can only be unraveled through understanding and kindness. So, that's all for today. Wait, wait, you have to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Comment down which part you get interesting here.